You know Father Jesus. This is Mother's Day of God. Your mother and all mothers of God. All mothers today, Father. Happy Mother's Day. Give one to your mother, my God. My God and my Redeemer. Father, we come and lift your hands to bless this morning, O God. We come into a fresh supply of blessings in the morning. My God and my Redeemer. Nothing is behind the bread this morning, Lord.
Yes. And the theme is a tribute to mothers. So now I will have Miriam's cradle. To the whole congregation. Glory to the Father. The skill of devoting to all duties and multitasking with positive, persistent energy to always get the job done. Administrating TLC on a constant basis, provision of strength during difficult times, reliability for a shoulder to cry on, a warm hug, and good laugh when it's much needed. Words of wisdom and knowledgeable ideas to hold our interest, giving us the keys we need in life. Today, your children and young leaders of the tomorrow bestow this prestigious honor to you, our mothers, for displaying above mentioned attributes and always going above the beyond to call of duty.
the program today is the foundation scripture and magnificent. Coming from Proverbs 31, verses 25 to 30. 30. Okay, Brother Justin will come and read the foundation scripture. children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he who praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellent, excel, excel, excellent them all, excelleth them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feared the Lord, she shall be praised. He ended, he ended the foundation lesson containing five verses. Good morning to 
each and every one in the offices. Testimony time. And I know that God has done something in each and every one of our lives. Whether it's today, yesterday, whatever. So testimony time is not. So we're going to have testimony. So with your heart's desire, anyone, everyone, you can come and give a testimony right now. So we're going to keep it up. Don't let it get cold. <laughs> Don't let it get cold. No. Praise the Lord. My testimony come is on. because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Grant you more long life, and I love you. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Yes, any more testimonies? Keep it rolling. He is. I 
thank God for my father who is yet alive in the land of the living at age 92. So that I know that God truly is good and he's worthy of all praise. So let's put our hands together and our voices and if we stamp our feet in worshiping him this morning. And this is a few words. As there is no more testimony. So all, without any further ado, I will hand over back the service to Junior Mother Kadisha. Jesus, my Lord.
The next on the program will be a tribute to mothers by Shapir Kamilov. while we have them. Because as pastors say, when I'm dead, I don't want you to, I don't want you to be the I should have, could have, would have. So here's this poem. How long has it been since you kissed your mother? How long since you held her hand? How long since you took the time, the trouble to show her how straight you stand? How long has it been since you kissed her cheeks? How long since you made her proud? How long since you said, I love you, mom? No, I mean out loud. You know, mothers may be made of iron to watch their children grow. And just when they seem to need them most, you have to watch them go. Now take my, my mom, as strong as she is. I must have made her cry. How many times I could have hugged her, but instead I passed her by. Maybe it's because I'm growing. Growing up, maybe I don't know. Or maybe it's the pairs of parenthood as I watch my children grow. I hope my children show their mom how much they really care. For someday it's a proven fact, a proven fact, their mother won't be there. And so the question of the day, and don't just ask your brother, more important, ask yourself, how long have since you kissed your mother? Why we honor all our mothers? 
angels with words and love and praises. While we tell them about of their goodness and their kind and their kind and loving ways, we should also remember of our grandmother. She's a mother too. Who see who who you see for a mother, my mother, to mother me as I am today. In the good morning. Thank you.
now I will ask you to show it to come to the table. sure this is done right and properly yes. and the right way. I looked at her just now and I saw her crying herself away because this must have been the first time she's coming here and not seeing her father where he was uh, or is uh, supposed to be. So we're going to ask her her reason and, 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 and what's the purpose for her giving this table of lights. Sister Sasha, church, church, sister Sasha. I had a lot of expectations for today. I was going to dress up cute. I was going to party. Come and join. And then daddy will call and say happy birthday for the first time in seven years from the right day. Because he claimed I was born today on Mother's Day. So he was there for Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday. And then a happy birthday, but I never go there and <laughs> Because I didn't get that happy birthday this morning, I felt like no party, no dressing up. And my birthday with daddy like to spend this time. Mm. I need a happy birthday from you guys because I can't take a happy birthday from any anyone. Hmm. That's why I came to the Stood up, bleed inside. Ooh. 
dressing up, I'm going to come simple. Yes. Nothing in my hands I bring. Hey, 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 hey. But simply to the cross, to the cross I cling. And, and, and I'm here to tell you that you, you have come to the right place. Because yes. Yes. We, we too are grieving just like you. And, and to some of us, he, he was a father, he was a friend, he was a pastor, he was a mother. He, he, to some of us, he was just everything. Amen. Because he, he, he was so dynamic and so versatile, he was able yes. to swing and, 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 yes. and, and to satisfy some of us, some of our, of our very needs yes. while functioning in the church yes. of God. We, we understand your pain, darling. We, 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 we share it with you. And, and, and today as you have come to, to, to celebrate, reaching a, a milestone that that God has allowed you to reach. I pray that not only just today be in a special day in your life, you will continue to come to the church of God and, 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 and praise God and worship Him more regularly than than. than, than. Even though sometimes we may come to the church of God and, and we may not do that, I pray that you would come and, and recognize that there is a God and there is a cross on Calvary and that, that your Father's work may not be in vain. We have here to, uh, some lights and, and she may not call nobody to come light it. Don't feel no way. <laughs> but send out a prayer to the God on high that he will help her grieve and, and one day be able to look and laugh and, 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 and come to a point when, where, where she can realize that yes, my father's work was not in vain. I love him, but I was born. I must have the Savior with me. For I dare not walk alone. For I dare not walk alone. So go ahead, whoever you think you want to help you light these candles, do so in Jesus' almighty name. <laughs> Be kind, I'm the uncircling gloom. Yeah. <laughs> 
One step in love for me,
Yes. In our midst on this Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Why? Prayer works for me. I try not to pray lacking because they know I know I ain't gonna receive nothing. And I only pray in faith, believing. I say it works for me. So what I'm encouraging you now is to keep in prayer. You'll be surprised when you do it for yourself. Now that you call me, I'm going to put you on my prayer list. As human beings, it has been proven that relations between a mother and child changes over time. At your childhood stage, you believe that mom is a superhero, superhero and she can do anything. During the teen years, mothers become your worst enemy and teens don't want nothing to do with them. Uh -huh. Now, at an adult stage, becoming an adult, at your young adult stage, becoming an adult, mom becomes your everything because a mother's heart is a child's school. Saying this to show that throughout life, as children growing up, we all want to do our own thing and live our life. But you, but you ever thought that if your mother allowed you to do the things you wanted and not give you those beatings, you think you would be the same way you are now? Mothers serve a prime purpose in, in our life. And when it's really time to put your future in order, you call upon mom, ask her what to do, knowing that your mom will always be with you. If you hurt, if you're sick, your mother will always be on the on the scene. My mother's a perfect example. Anytime anything happened to me in school, within 15 minutes, she would be there. <laughs> Playing football, she was right behind the sidelines just in case I got injured. She even called me every day in football camp, morning and night. And if she didn't get me, she was calling the coach. <laughs> Things like that demonstrates the motherly acts that we should all be thankful for. These selfless acts of love reflects how mothers was created in the image of God. Revealing that God himself loves and sacrifices like a mother does, which shows that the sacrificial love that God has for the, that has for the world. God created man and woman in his own image and likeness, making man the rule, rule of earth, and woman to be fruitful and increase in number. When researching Bible verses, I came across the fact that man will always be head of the house, bring home the necessities, but the woman is the one that manages the household. Yeah. Watching over all the children, cleaning and cooking. In conclusion, I would like to thank all mothers because you are truly blessed. Ever since God chose Mary to birth his son, and the world the world knew that mothers were also a blessing. From my perspective, I will put mothers on a high moral standard because they give without wanting, sacrifice to provide, and most importantly, they never give up. 
They say God gives the hardest battles to the toughest soldiers, and mothers face the battle and beat the battle every day. Thank you. Never turn him down. Mm -hmm. Greedy, unselfish, yes. cunning in his ways, yes. he turned him down. Today, there are many men that carry the trait of the Abigail. Yes. But behind these men, there is an Abigail. Mm -hmm. Abigail consulted with her husband. He started to worry. 
he wanted to make confusion. So she did what she had to do. She gave the soldiers food and turned because knowing David was coming, he was going to destroy them. That good woman, she fed the soldiers and went on to see David. She met David and consulted with him. David looked at the woman and see the goodness of God and God's mercy in her and decided not to go after her husband neighbor. We have many, many Abigails in here today. I can say for one, sometimes I could be a fool like neighbor. And I have an Abigail behind me that says, do not go this way. Do not do that. Because the woman duty in the home, the woman really is to, to nurture. Although we, we sometimes we say we are men and we are the head, but the woman's duty is to nurture. And as big a man as we are, we always need nurturing. This great woman, spoke with the king and the king decided God's faith is in you and I will not destroy your home and your family. Not too long after her husband suffered a stroke and died. David heard of, this, of Nabal's death and said that Nabal's death was because of his greed and that was God's judgment upon him. Seeing this goodly woman, David made her his wife. So you see, God works in a way that he can take you from poverty and make you a rich person. And he truly made Abigail rich by her being a king's wife. When I look around here today, I, I see many Abigails in here. I see a lot of nurturing mothers in here. I see a lot of sons in here that is walking the right path and it's only because of their mother today, that nurturing spirit in their mother that they are walking that path today. I also want to talk about a woman by the name of Daisy Bell. <laughs> who also had a husband that was a bad man. So there's two women with husbands that is not God-fearing men. Jezebel was a Sardinian princess who married to Ahab. She married to Ahab and brought in all her pagan rituals and introduced it to God's chosen people. They started worshiping idols. She was a very, very, very cunning and devious woman, as we would say. Ahab was one of the worst kings of Israel. One of the worst kings that Israel has ever seen. And there were bad kings before him, but he was one of the worst kings that Israel has ever seen. Today I want to tell you, the woman role, the difference between these two women, the woman role in her home is to be the peacemaker. Jezebel was nothing like a peacemaker. Jezebel was the opposite to what God really wanted out of the woman. Jezebel, there was a man by the name of Walk 
There was a man by the name of Nabal. Nabal had some land. He had wanted Nabal's land. He offered it to buy the land off of him because he wanted to build a king's vineyard. But that was his godly rights. He said no to the king. Jezebel being as cunning as she had, told the king, I am going to get you that land. And on the day of fasting, Jezebel set up two men and accused Nobat of blaspheming against God and blaspheming against the king. And the penalty for that in those days was to be stoned to death. They stoned Norbert to death and took his land for the king. Jezebel was such a bad woman that Jezebel started to kill out all God's prophets. But one prophet she couldn't handle. She couldn't handle one prophet, and that was Elijah. Elijah was God's chosen best one. Yes. And today we see many prophets. We hear a lot of prophets on the, on, 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 the, on the radio and on the TV. And a lot of these prophets today only bring you good tidings. <laughs> they say, so a seed and you will get rich. Yeah. <laughs> but back in the day, when a prophet came to you, when yeah. God sent a prophet, yeah. Yeah. people didn't want to see prophets. Uh, because yeah. prophet yeah. wasn't telling you to sow a seed. Yeah. Prophet yeah. was showing up your wrongdoing. Yeah. So Jezebel decided to get rid of all the prophets so that they would not show up. Listen. God sent Elijah to prophesy on Jezebel. He said, just as you, as, as Noam died, you will die and the dogs will eat your flesh. Ahab went into battle. Ahab come and he died. He had two sons. Jerome they took over. They were as wicked and as bad as their father. But they were controlled by the mother. The mother was still in power. God promised and his promise must be fulfilled that this woman must die and dogs should eat her body. God raised up Jiru to be king. And Jiru will fulfill God's promise by wiping out all of Ahab's line. Wipe out both of his sons and also their mother by throwing her through a window where she fell in the street and horses trod upon her. God, pro God prophecy must be fulfilled. So we see the balance between a good woman and a bad woman. Both had bad husbands. The reward for being bad is death, surely. And God rewards good because God reward Abigail by becoming a king's wife. When I look around this evening, I see a lot of good mothers in here. I see some, I see a lot of Abigails in here. I want to make mention to a couple by name that has played an important part in my life. When I took my first throne at uh, the basement, it was a very, very cold winter. And uh, there was a couple of mothers that really, really stood and stood for nurturing and what motherhood really is. I want to make mention to uh, Mother Idris. When I read my Bible, I see Mother Idris as a woman in the Bible they call Anna. 
Anna's husband died, and Anna devoted her life to the church. Anna prophesied of, of the coming one that will give us salvation. And God was good to Anna by letting Anna. <laughs> God was rewarding to Anna by allowing Anna to see Jesus Christ. When his parents brought him to the temple to be circumcised, she was privileged to lay eyes on him and to go out and prophesy that she has seen the Messiah. I see this in Mother Idris. For my days, I was there. Mother Idris, she nurtured me. She read the Bible. She taught me things that I really didn't know. Today, Mother Idris, I want to thank you. And I want to tell you to keep on the good works. Because God, there is a crumb laid up for you for your good works. I want to, I want to teach a modeling. Teacher Madeline never knew me. It was a very, very, very cold night. And Teacher Madeline came and sat and sat with me. She read the Bible and she ministered unto me. And she leave me with a song. There is a place of quiet rest. would wake me up in the morning, number one, get up, you need to pray. After I pray, she would read certain passages in the Bible. And she tarried with me. She never knew me. That was the first time she was coming into contact with me. And she spent the whole week there. She tarried with me. And I learned a lot from her. A very nurturing mother. I learned a lot from her. Today, Matron Bueller, I want to thank you and tell you. Teacher Laura the Warrior. You know? I just fight with she and you know. But um, I can remember Teacher Laura coming in every evening from the cold weather. And she will come in number one. Get on your knees and pray. And Teacher Laura taught me to pray. Teacher Laura said, you see this thing that I've been doing? I stretch my hands to thee. Ah, la, la, la. She said, that is not praying. She said, number one, I want you to pray. You must structure your prayer after the hour five. You start by blessing God, praising God. You praise his kingdom. You ask for your daily bread. You ask him to forgive you your trespasses that you may be able to forgive others. You ask him to lead you not into temptation. This is how I want you to pray, number one. And when you pray like this, you will get answers. That thing you see that I've been doing, it is song good and it does look good, but that is not prayer. And ever since that day, I have been trying to walk that line, to structure my prayer down that line. And I will tell you something to give me confidence. Because sometimes when I go places and I hear people pray, I pray that they don't put me to pray after them. But right now, 
She has given me the confidence that I don't care who pray and how they pray. I'm ready to pray. Yeah. Teacher Laura, I thank you and God will bless you. When I look around in the church, I can see a lot of good nature and mother. They say from the fruit, you should I know the tree. I look at Shepherd Kenwell and I can see where he has come from. Shepherd Kenwell, I want you to thank your mother this evening and to tell her how much you love her. Come in this bucket and take a package. Yeah. Take it to your mommy. Tell her happy Mother's Day. Tell her how much you love her for the good nature. <laughs> Love. What that? Say the love. Yes, yeah, say the love. 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 Say Shepard Samuel, come forward. I can see strength and nurturing in him. When we have a little place we go to, to, to learn about the Bible. And his mother, that never leave him home, she brings him along with her every Monday to Bible class. This is what we need from the mothers of Plum Line. And we have them here. Um, teacher Grace, I'm forgetting your son's name. Justin. Justin, Shepard Justin. <laughs> A young man that is growing up in the presence and the admiration of God. I can see your mother is doing a very good job with you. Daddy to you, but daddy today is not your thing. Mommy is doing a very good job with you. Yes. Yes. Mm. 
printed yeah, a picture. Yeah, print yeah. Print print yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm on one I just love that. Yeah. I, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't give you trouble. Uh huh. I tell you, I like to give you trouble. Thank you, Troy. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising four kids. You cook for me. That's what I know. And that's what I grow in. And it's helped me be the woman that I am. Yeah. Marie, your mom is here. Let's take one and take it home to her. Justin, I would like you all to um, hand out the rest of the roses to all the mothers, the rest of the mothers in the church. In the mother name. God and that you will bless it yes. and that oh God that you will continue to pour unity upon this home this evening yeah, dear yeah, Father. Yeah, yeah. Bless us as collectively, collectively as a bunch dear God yeah. and bless us individually. Yeah. Bless our respective homes this evening again dear yeah. God. Bless the offsprings of our body dear God that we continue to strive from strength to strength. Once again I want to bring plumb line before you again. Yes, Lord. Father, I want to bring plumb line again before you. Yes, Lord. Take our lives and let it be and consecrate our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, to you this evening, dear God, dear Father. Father, we know that there is a void, but we know that one day, we know that one day you will fill that void this evening, dear Father. Because we expect it from you, dear God. As your work has to continue here, Jesus. In the name of the Father. Spirit, amen. 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 Amen.
When, when, when this child or when the news reach us that Latitweet were born Latitweet were born the 10th of May a Sunday a Mother's Day to be exact in the year 1980 and when that news reached my father and mother they were elated but in all the elation, when we saw Latitweet, Latitweet was <laughs> and I was half this and a half more than she. And um, we grew to love her. But in growing to love Latitweet, we, I, I perceived that the father had loved her a little bit more than God. Mm -hmm. And um, Latitude got in. And Latitude had what they call maninomeligitis, mani wherever the gitis is. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the doctors and all thought that Latitweet would not have lived. And my mother said to the father, 
<laughs> go to the hospital and bring latitude to me. And latitude was brought to my mother. And based on the spirit of God, my mother did what she had to do. And here is my beautiful niece. In, in, in Latitude growing up, people used to think that she was my daughter. Because we did look alike. I could verify that. And in order for Latitude to sleep, Leah showed him, her father had to put Latitude on his breast and let it tweet. <laughs> so let it tweet. Lost a side of her. Name Kelton Kelly. Latitweet was born a Sunday at the elected 1980 on the 10th of May. And I know her father would have called her this morning because if she will they fall on Saturday, he don't like it. <laughs> but once Latitweet will they fall on the 10th of May and it's Mother's Day and it's a Sunday, he loves it with a passion. And Latitude know that. So I perceived when I looked at the face when I came out, I said, oh my God, my niece will cry because she know that if her father was here, how he would have flipped and up a bit. But my niece, I want you to understand that this void that you are feeling, nothing can fill that aching void. But when you know and you understand who God is, you will cry, you will weep, but not too bitter because he's in a better place. Church of God, I am. I am, I am trying to contain myself. Mm. I, 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 I did a point in the week. Out, out of state. And um, when I, 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 I I um I um <coughs> let me forget that. <coughs> I just remember me brother. That's that is all I want to say. And um I I um I went in a place, but not a not a place with tears. But I went into a place and uh, when I came out from that place I I lift my holy hands to God and I said, Thank you, God, thank you. He's in a better place. So if whenever, whenever, I don't know when that day will be, whenever day you see that I broke or I break and, and, and I, I'm a cry more than carry on is because it no hit me. I don't know when that will be, but whatever will be, will be in the future. Not ours to say, que sera? Sera. Latitude, I want God to continue to bless you. And, and, and to keep you and to make his face to shine upon you and keep you so that you will continue to prosper in health, in wealth, and whatever you put your hands to do. And I pray that you will keep God in, keep God in the mind and in the hearts and in the whatever, whatever you do and so that God will continue to bless you and you know that act is here for you and then the church who which any any member of the church that you know and you're acquainted with just perceive in your mind that they may be here for you but you have to understand that god yeah. is here yeah. for yeah. you yeah. and if god is here for you you know that you're sure about yeah. that yeah. and i know that your little sister over there your, your, your little diva sister over there, <laughs> she's stronger than all Mm. I don't want to so that we could bless this table. 
in the fighting name. This table will not be blessed as, as, as a normal Thanksgiving. It's not a, it's just a table of light to say, thank you God that I, 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 mean, I, I, be, I live to see 35. Because Latitude would have only lived to see five years. And Latitude lived 30 years more than that. So for that cause, I am very thankful. Is she pretty like I do? <laughs> <laughs> she taller than you. She taller than you. <laughs> and, and, and I want God to, to bless you, let it be to that. Go on, we continue to shine and prosper you. Uh, this, this girl, for those of you that don't know her, she's a professional beautician. She loves to do hair and um, stylist. And, um, she went to high school, she got all the passes. But when she finished high school, and the, the prestige of the father, he wanted her to go other places. And this child said, Daddy, I want my own business. And she started to do well in Trinidad. But when her father got ill, and he had to migrate to this shore, she gave up that parlor. And she said, I'm coming to meet my father. And when she daddy dead, she said, Auntie Laura, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm going back home because I didn't come. Because my daddy did sick and come in America. And she said, Auntie, I am ready to build on the land by the church where peace belongs to me, daddy. I said, girl, once you get the money and we cut out the land, you could build where you want. Can I tell her that? Let us pray this girl's strength Amen. in the Lord so that Amen. even though she built, she could be still living here and suffice the building she wants to be into be she has a good heart and, and everybody you know, here she called auntie people feel she have millions of aunties she had two biological aunties huh? and uh, other aunties by she fought she fought her so sasha i want god to bless you and to, to to keep you and to make his face to shine upon you and so that the church could stretch your hands in the direction of the table so that yes. God will pour out a blessing so that not Sasha alone, but all of us that are in church today yes. will receive a blessing yes. and, 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 and so that something good will come out of this table, not for Sasha alone and for Makai but, but, and Janice and Leslie, but for all of us, not, not, not for um, Khalil because she don't do it out. Talking about Chikali and Chikalisha, especially the, the Diva Nisha um, 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 So we want God to continue to bless and to, 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 to keep them and to make his face to shine upon them and, and be gracious unto them and multiply whatever is being, whatever God see that they need so that God will bless them. I will allow um, Reverend Morrison just to pray this table area, please, before I give it to, to lead a call to Benedict the Church in. Jesus all mighty name. Yes. Oh.
Father, I stretch my hands to thee. Yes. No other help have I known. Hallelujah. Lord, if thou shalt draw thyself from me, all where thou shalt like Most righteous and holy Father, God, we just lift up today. We praise you, O oh God, because there is no like you. Hallelujah. We glorify your name, O oh God, because yes. you are our Alpha and Omega. Yes. God, we love you today with thank everything that is in us. And as we come, O oh God, in this fashion, yes. God, we just want to thank you for today's worship. Yes. God, we want to thank you for everything that was said yes. and done in this worship. Yes. We want to thank you for every purse, O oh God, yes. that is in thank this you. building today, God. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all the mothers. Yes. Oh, oh God, as today we celebrate Mother's Day today, God. Yeah. We know that every day is Mother's Day, yes. but as today is set aside yes. for that special celebration, Hallelujah. God, we just want to thank you for every mother yes. in this house. And now, God, the Thanksgiving. Yes. God, what should I tell you about the woman servant? God, you already know. Hallelujah. God, you know everything about yes. her. Hallelujah. You know our uprising, you know our dance yes. settings. Hallelujah. You know our going out, and you know our coming in. Yes. So right now, Holy Ghost, God, in the name of Jesus, yes. I present um, Sister Tash. Sasha. Sasha, before you. Yes, I pray Lord. even now, oh God, that you will give her a fresh anointing. Yes, anoint her, God, from the crown of her head to the very yes, sole of her feet. God, we thank you for this day, yes. her birth date, oh God. The day no, like, it was a day like on yes, today yes. when she came into this world. Thank and God, we heard the testimony Alleluia. of her lifespan. Yes. But God, you have seen it fit. Yes. And you have Thank kept her, oh God, Hallelujah. upon this hour. So yes. as she came to give thanks, oh God, yes. I pray even now that you will receive her thanksgiving. Yes. I pray, God, that you will look upon her. I pray, Hallelujah. God, that you will breathe on her yes. word yes. I pray, God, that you will fill her yes. with life anew. Yes. Oh, Lord. Holy Ghost, God, yes. be her comfort and be her God. Yes. You see, oh God, that she's mourning yes. over the loss of her yes. father. God, that we know that nothing can take that place, but no. God, you said that yes. you are the comforter. You yes. said that you will not leave her alone, oh. but you will still supply, yes. you know, support and comfort oh. her. So in the name of Jesus, oh. we pray, God, that you will comfort yes. her today. Wrap yes. your hands around her. Yes. Lift her up, oh God. Yes. Hold her in the hollow palm of your hand. Yes. I pray even now, oh God, yes. that whatever she touches, oh God, will be successful. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. most of all, I pray, God, that you yes. draw her close to you. In the name of Jesus. Draw her close to you. Yes. God, we don't want her to come to church only when it's a special yes. occasion. Yes. But God, we want her to come and to give our life yes. unto you. Yes. To worship you. In to live for you in the name of Jesus. Yes. So we pray even now, God, yes. that you are in control. Yes. Somebody said it doesn't matter what it seems. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter how it seems. it seems like the sand yes. is sinking. No. It doesn't matter what the doctor said. Oh. It doesn't matter what people said. Oh. It's all about you, God. Yes. So today we put our self in your hands. I will look unto you. Yes. From whence come at our help. The writer said, I will lift up my eyes yeah. unto the hill. Yes. We're not talking about a mountain with no. stones. Yeah. God, we are talking about you. You yes. represent the hill. Yes. The writer said, From yes. whence yes. come at our help. Yes. Our help coming from, from the you. Lord, yes. which made heaven and earth. Yes. God, we want to thank you for this day. Yes. Bless her on her birthday, God. Yes. I pray even now that you will give her the blessing yes. she has yes. to many more birthdays. Yes. Yes. Most of all, give her a, the peace that yes. passes all understanding. Yes. Yes. Not the peace that the world gives, yes. but the peace that only you alone yes. God can give. Like, why? Because she can smile yes. in her storm. Yes. Oh God, when the road gets rough, she can smile, yes. oh God, yes. because you are in yes. her storm. Yes. So we thank you. Thank you. We bless your name. Yes. We glorify you. Yes. And we lift you up yes. in the name of Jesus we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. 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 Yes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Let us not forget his benefits towards us. Yes, Lord. For he is the one to forgive all his benefits. Yes. Thank you. He heals all diseases and he crowns our souls with loving mm -hmm. kindness and tender mercy. Hallelujah. He redeems us from destruction. In that context of your line, it's good about the church, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. May we all say it together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest, rest, rest and abide in us. Lord.
what you for us before you leave this place, Lord. Yes. Bless us in a special way about about we leave this place, Lord. Yes. Watch over us, Lord, Lord. And bless us of the above. Yes. Yes. May the good Lord walk between you and thee while we absent one from another. May the Lord of Virginia and thee while we absent one from another. May the Lord walk between you and thee while we absent one from another. Bless us in the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit.